Well, ladies and gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. Uh, today, I'm going to go help Ethan. Not his fault. Uh, there was a uh, oh a problem with communications. Uh, driver does not speak very good English and gave his company the wrong information. He was supposed to be in a parking lot and be able to drop the empty trailer and Ethan was going to tow the tractor to a dealership. Uh, come to find out, he is actually on the side of this busy highway with no shoulder and has dropped the truck off the edge of the roadway. So I understand. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go up here and see if I can help Ethan. Uh, it could be a dangerous situation, dangerous spot. I'm not sure. Uh, Ethan has pulled off safely to where he's not blocking anything. Don't know if we'll need help with traffic control or what, but uh, anyway, here we go. bit of a shoulder not much but there's some Let's see what the heck's going on here set out some cones Go further back. Keep them out in the lane for a little bit further. They can't hardly, well, they can see it from the other side of the hill, but they're not paying attention. Gavin in that dang gun traffic control truck. Yep. All right, what do we got? Okay. But as you can see, it's a nasty incline. And half of my stair is off and one of my doors is off where I'm at. Yeah. Well, I had to set off in the... I got as far over as I felt comfortable with. So I'll still be able to do something. Well, what, what's the issue with the truck? Will it move on its own at all? I don't know. Have you tried to get him to... Yeah, I wanted to wait on you. Yep. Try anything get somebody hurt. Well, I think we need uh, Jackson PD up here, don't you? I've almost been hit several times. Well, I, again, I think we need Jackson PD up here. Is it moving under 15 mile an hour? As long as it moves, that's okay. Let's get it okay. somewhere up here off this dead gum bad spot this is a bad spot so you want the next parking lot or? let me do a quick scouting run okay so the truck will move on its own for now 15 miles an hour we're going to escort him up here to the top of the hill and get to a side street 
where it's much safer for all of us. Because yeah, they're, they're coming over the top of that hill and they're not paying attention. Somebody's gonna get hit or hurt. I'm watching you and traffic. All right, let's find a break in traffic and then get over. If I can, I'll just block, completely block and let you guys get walked over to that left lane. But I've got to wait for a, I'll have to wait for a break in traffic as well. Look at this guy. Really? All these flashing lights and they run right up on us until they get over. Phoenix lights. All right, if you hurry up and we might have a break right here pretty close. Fortunate there, we got a break in traffic. Good deal. And I know a lot of people ask what happens if we're at the SEMO District Fair with this truck. Well, this is what happens. We break it down and we go. This call came in what during the SEMO Fair. That's why we sent Ethan out in the little truck first because it was supposed to be just a road tractor. Anyway. We make it work, we figure it out. That is part of our job. We find solutions to problems. This way. Now we've got room to work and no high volume traffic. gonna move what and we'll go from there. Alright, we'll take a look up here and see. Don't want to block anybody businesses. I'll pull forward a little bit. You him from the front or the rear? I'm gonna grab him from the back so I don't have to pull the drive shaft and everything. All right, sir. Uh, he's gonna pull forward just a little bit so that you can get out. I'm gonna have you pull up where that trailer just turned, uh, nose up there, and then back along this side street. I want you, I want the nose of your truck facing this way. Okay right by that light pole. Okay. That way I can just come around you and I'll grab the back end of the truck okay. and we'll tow and go. It's not, I cannot make a reverse on this. 
Oh, it won't reverse? Yeah. So I can just go Okay, yeah, if, yeah if, if you can just go straight around that curve, I'll get to the back of you that way. No no worries. Wherever, just leave me room to get my truck behind you. Okay, you want me to go on the road or in this? In this in uh, let, let's stay on the road because the that's road. private property. Okay. Yep, just go up there and I'll get, I'll get you hooked up. Yeah, we weren't planning it this way. Like I said, it was supposed to be just a tractor tow and he was supposed to be able to leave the trailer at Walmart, which is where he was. Uh, anyway, it happens. We got it worked out. Uh, if we'd known it was truck and trailer, we would have just sent the rotator up. Uh, the Western Star's out, the semi is out working. We got all of our uh, heavy equipment out working today, which is good, not complaining, just, uh, just busy. Uh, wait for a break here. Let Ethan get in position. Whew. Yes, uh, for those of you wondering, yes, I could pull the truck and trailer with the rotator would not be a problem however it's quicker to split them and not have to pull the drive shaft on that automatic transmission since the trailer is empty Ethan can grab it with the little Pete no worries there like I said we'll make it work we will make it work So did you just finish delivering there? Or? Yeah, I just finished delivering. That's the bad thing about these automatic transmissions. When they go out, yeah. you're done. I mean, there's just nothing you can do. Just repainted the wheel lift in the back of the truck. Oh well, that's what it's here for, it's to be used. Yeah, we just repainted the back of this because it was, it went to work truck. Right. We just repainted it. This is the first tow after it's been painted. <laughs> ah. We got the, there's a fair going on here locally that lasts a week. Okay. When we set this truck up there on display every night. So we did some touch up work and detail work, making it look all nice and pretty. And, Ah, we knew it would get scratched up at some point. Yeah. Oh. 
Whoop. Wrong. Whoa! That didn't work. Why on earth do I have a post driver in here? Alrighty then, that's strange. Caution for rear toes only. Normally wouldn't raise it that high, but we've got a steep dip down here. Tie the steering wheel. Oh. Tie the steering wheel and the uh, install the light bar. We got extra stuff in here from the fair. Ah. Come on, baby.
tie the steering wheel down and I'll go check on him, make sure he's good, and we'll be ready to roll. Okay. I know that I had my ratchet straps in here from the other day. There they are. I just moved them. There. I'll get it, sir. I got it. I'll tie the steering wheel for you. Okay, so got a car coming, watch yourself. Find a solid base, a solid point on the base of the seat. Come on, get on here. Oh. There we go. You good? Oh, it's gonna have to come check it. Okay. Yeah, you'll have to turn your red and blues off, so. Yeah, I know. All right. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, you can take one of these chains one of the long ones and do both but since you already got since you already got it this now well here what you need to do then run that run that hook or run that chain through the end of that uh, breakaway just trust me go over there Run the, well, run your, single hook. I understand. That's why I use the grab hook here and you're gonna have it run it. Run it through that hook, right there, no. Leave that right there. Well, I know, I was just repositioning. Take it under the underreach after you get it hooked. And this will act as your breakaway chain too. Not that it's going to do much on a hookup like this, but... Okay, now. Under the underreach. How much slack can you? Okay, then go over the underreach. No, I said how much? Well, you need enough to be able to turn. Now. Hold on. Okay, now what you need to do is bungee cord here. Hold this up so it doesn't come loose when you turn, because it will turn. You also need to bring it in closer to you. Probably have to release the brakes on something.
have any tape in here? Duct tape, electrical tape. Tape this connection right here so it doesn't come undone. Normally we'd use our road tractor, but like I said, it is out being used. Talon's in it right now. Kenny's out in Western Star. Oh my goodness. Just enough so it doesn't, that's all right, just enough so that link doesn't come out of there. That's all right. if it does slide back and forth this hook hey this hook right here will stop here or here but still give it enough slack and then these will allow it to move without dragging so what about this one like i did you did it different i put it in two different hooks you or two different uh, chain links so what about that that'll work too as long as it stays i like this way because it gives you a little bit extra swag Gives you two, two hinge, or uh, actually three swags instead of just two. But well, do you want me to change it? I would. Doesn't take just a second to change it. Okay, you got your light cord in. Yep. Everything looks good. Be sure to do the tug. Well. Yeah, be sure to pull your treadle, treadle valve down. Make sure that uh, you got the trailer brakes. Oh, sorry, I knocked your gloves off. There you go, that's good. There's your remote. Uh, you know where we're going, right? Yep. All right, let's hit the road. Good to go. Get my breakaway chains. We'll scoot on down the road. If we were going a long distance, I'd secure the wind fairings, but we're just going to take it nice and easy. Ah, here we go. There goes Ethan getting ready to drop the trailer around there. I've already removed and pulled my breakaways and stowing my safety chains now oh my goodness Whoop, that's not where they went but we'll get her taken care of here in a little bit talon called and said he needed a little help so i'm gonna go run up and help talon Yeah, a few little marks on the under each button. That's designed to be a work truck, so.
Come on, you. Get unhooked. There we go. All right, go ahead and get the numbers and everything while I'm here. I'll have to get some more straps put in this truck. We've had quite a few uh, major crunches lately, and a lot of times we'll leave the straps on the drive shafts or holding pieces together. We go through quite a few of them. Almost ready. stretch it out enough so that when I let it down I've got room to fold it I know it's kind of useless, but I'm trying not to scratch her up. But it's gonna happen. But I just like it when it's all fresh new paint. say as they say is that all right ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna run up and help Talon 
done with this job very busy day which is great not complaining at all as always thank you for watching god bless